whether you're making pancakes from scratch or from a mix, here are some tips uh, that will help you to get these done just right and without any stress at all. The first thing to do is to put your dry ingredients, um, or if you're using a mix, your, your mix, in a large bowl. I like to use actually a, a glass measuring cup because it has a spout on it so that when the batter's all mixed up, I can pour it right into the skillet. Um, if you don't have one, don't worry. Uh, second thing is to get your wet ingredients mixed up separately from the dry ingredients. So sometimes um, that's milk, it's usually some milk, and an egg or two, and a little bit of either vegetable oil or melted butter. Mixing them separately lets you break up the egg a little bit so that once you get it into the dry ingredients, you don't have to overmix your batter, which is pretty much um, what ruins most people's pancakes. So that's nice and mixed together, and then it goes right into the dry ingredients. And the trick here is not to overmix. Some lumps are fine in your batter. Actually, that's what keeps your pancakes really tender. And once you stop seeing flour, you're done. Stop mixing then. There you go, you have a few lumps and those are good. What happens when you overmix pancakes is that the batter gets a little bit tough. The flour develops gluten and it becomes very tough. Um, same rule whether you're making cookies or cake, always applies, don't overmix. Um, so now that we have our batter together and we're ready to get them on the stove. So now we're gonna cook up these pancakes. Very simple, use a nonstick skillet. You can use a cast iron skillet if you have one, is also great. Um, so you wanna get this heated over about medium high heat. And the way you know that your skillet is hot enough is if you just flick a little water on it, and you can see the water just dances a little bit or sort of bubbles up and, and then ev evaporates. That's exactly what you're looking for. Um, and then what I find to be the most important step in cooking pancakes is to prepare your pan correctly. I actually prefer to use oil, vegetable oil, instead of butter. I find that it does a better job of cooking the pancakes really evenly. Just get a little bit on the paper towel and wipe it right in your skillet. You're not trying to fry your pancakes, you're just trying to keep them from sticking. And then the batter, uh, we have already in this nice measuring cup or a bowl with a, um, a lip on it, makes it really easy. You just pour a little circle and then use a spoon to just spread it around a little bit. So if you want to add fruit to your pancakes, say sliced bananas, sliced peaches, even sliced apples, this is the time to do it. Just drop it right onto the batter and they'll cook in there really nicely. Then what you're doing is just waiting for these pancakes to be ready to turn. And the way you know they're ready to turn is these bubbles on top of the pancake uh, will start to burst. So then that's what they're ready to turn. What you wanna make sure to do is not to lift the pancake up too high off of the skillet. This one looks perfect. There we go. Great. If you're trying to cook pancakes for a crowd and not have your family line up one by one for their pancakes, you can keep your pancakes on a baking sheet with a little rack on it um, and put them in the oven at about 200, 225 degrees and they'll stay warm for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, you want to make sure to use the rack though because that keeps them from getting soggy on the bottom because the air can get through them.